This is black pepper crab heaven. Look at that meat. Pure meat. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my trip. I'll be exploring Singapore, Hokkaido and Tokyo in this series. I'll be having delicious foods such as chicken rice, laksa noodle, kaiseki and ramen. I'll round the trip off with some mukbangs in Tokyo. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to keep updated. Hope you enjoy the series. Hey guys, so this is day two of Singapore. I just woke up and um, I have breakfast. I gave some free coupons for like um, some cafe or something down the road. I'm just gonna go like this honestly because I cannot be bothered getting ready. Um, so yeah, after breakfast, we're gonna take a quick dip in the swimming pool and then head off to some porker stores. So um, let's go get some breakfast. So these are the breakfast vouchers. Um, we're entitled to one complimentary breakfast, which is two kaya toasts, two soft boiled eggs, and one coffee or two. Or you can add seven dollars on top and get the breakfast set, uh, or the brunch set. Sorry. I don't know what the brunch set is. I actually might have a look. Hey guys, so we're heading to uh, Killarney Road now, which is, I think, just up the block. And uh, it's super humid already, and it's only 8.30, and look how sunny it is. I actually don't mind the humidity, because, <laughs> oh shit, look, look, the lens is all foggy. It makes me look like an angel or something. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, what was I saying? Humidity makes it a bit oh, yeah. easier to bear the heat, doesn't it? Yeah, no, the humidity, I don't know, it somehow makes me breathe easier. I didn't know I had trouble breathing until now. Yeah, sure. So I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, this is the uh, breakfast we're getting. So we got a newspaper with our room. And um, ah, let's see if there's anything interesting. There's bikes all everywhere. That's pretty normal. So this is the Kaya toast. Um, it's got coconut jam in it and butter and what you're supposed to do is take this and dip it in an egg sauce so you have to crack open one of the eggs it's kind of warm so it's like semi-cooked kind of looks like an onsen egg honestly okay so we get two eggs each and we're gonna throw in some soy sauce Just break the yolks, that's all you do. Oh, look at that yolk. Looks really rich. Okay, this is the first time I'm having it. I hope it's real good. I do not like toast for breakfast. I do not like eggs for breakfast. I certainly do not like coconut flavor, so this is gonna go down well. I don't mind it. Like um, it's like a sweet, sweet toast. just finished breakfast it's about 9 a.m. honestly the breakfast for me Ooh, okay so the breakfast um, you know I don't like the flavors I don't like eggs and toast for the morning because it makes me sick and I don't like coconut flavor because it's not my preference but like I could eat that so I'd rate it like a 5 out of 10 
Um, my boyfriend actually enjoyed it very much. He said it was an 8 out of 10. So, you know, if you guys don't mind the flavours, definitely try it out. Especially because it's so cheap. It's like a dollar twenty. And it's weird and interesting. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. I, I gave it extra points because, you know, it's interesting. I, I could eat it. Especially if you like sweet things for breakfast. I think that would be really good to try out. So this is where we are at the moment. We're going to go up Oxley Rise down Fort Canning Road to arrive at Fort Canning Park. This place looks really cool. This is right next to where we're staying. There's a chicken down there. Oh really? Oh. And little baby chicks behind it. I don't have my macro lens so I can't really see. <laughs> this is cool. It's so hot. So we made it to Fort Canning Park. We're just going to head up these stairs and just explore around. So we're just climbing the stairs now and it's really hot and there's like people on the trees cutting. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> there he is. That's a zoomed in. That's a zoomed in yeah. it goes. So we're in the fort area and there's like this cool little gate. Quintina Shook. Okay. Quintina Shook. Okay. At the ticket machine, we're just gonna buy, I think, buy standard ticket. Let's go station name. Um, T for T O. T T O. Which one of these touch screens? A B C D E F G. Next arrow, please. Holy shit. Next one. Oh there we go. Please. Uh, return or single? Return, yeah? Uh, single, because we might go somewhere else after. Okay, single. Do we need two? How do we. Oh, there we go. Two, two tickets, please. There we go. So, 340. Away. Okay, we got some change because uh, apparently it wasn't working because we had too much money. <laughs> That's mine. Use six times to get a 10 cents discount. Yep. Okay, so uh, I don't know how this goes. Do I just wave it? Oh, cool. That is awesome. Wow. So we missed the train, so we came on this one out. Holy hell, it's packed. People will get up. Food paradise, Thai hola. So we're here at Chong Baru. One upstairs, and this is the food area. Oh my god, it's the whole floor. Have you guys seen the website for this thing? It's amazing. I'll show you guys um, in the insert, but it's pretty crazy and detailed. So we're just gonna check out a few stores first. Um, I think we're gonna get the chicken rice and some noodles. Uh, sorry, out of breath, it's so hot. Um, but yeah, they had like Michelin stars, so I think we're gonna try them. And anything else that looks interesting. There's a pretty long line for this one. Um, looks like Luxor. Yeah, Luxor fish balls. So the stalls are independent and they open at various times. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm so hungry right now. Ah, oh, dang. All these corners closed. I actually read good stuff about them. I really wanted to try it. Oh, oh well. So we found the Michelin one. It's closed. It is closed. It is, of course, it's fucking closed. So we're 
So this is carrot cake. Uh, I was recommended to try this. It looks good. I like carrot cake. Well, the uh, sweet version at least. So I'm gonna get the large fried carrot cake and uh, uh, two pieces of pop here. I'm not sure what that is. Since the Michelin place is closed, I think I'll just settle for this place, Heinese Chicken Rice. Uh, let's see. So I ended up getting chicken for two people with rice, which is $7. This one was 360. Oh, yeah. Four. How much was the duck? The duck was all up. Yeah. Like 12 bucks or something. Four yeah. for that and this. Yeah. yeah. 12 bucks. Oh, I'm at Cambridge Close, right? What's going on there? Is that soy sauce? Fish sauce. Fish sauce. A lot of chili. Yeah. Oh, man. I've got to taste that one, baby. Yeah, try this rice. Okay. Yeah, it's got some duck pig. rice. Mmm. Mm. What's in there? Um, it's called yam rice. Yam rice? Yeah, but I don't know if there's any yam in there. But maybe you just <laughs> some flavoring, I don't know. <laughs> oh. mm. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Cheers. 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 So they gave us these uh, crab bibs so we don't get crab juice all over us. Stop putting me on boyfriends of Instagram. <laughs> This is black pepper crab heaven. Look at that meat. Pure meat. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of this uh, black pepper crab. Mm. It's really sweet and meaty. Done. Do you want to taste? Yeah, I'll have a bit. Flavors are really similar to what I always have, so it's not really anything special. So there's no real foul factor, but it is good, I can tell. And I couldn't stop eating the black pepper crab. So this is a J cone, looks kind of suggestive, especially with this like ribbed thing. Jake? Thank you. So this is the J cone. It's just J shape. Not really ribbed like it was shown. And this is chocolate and vanilla. So this is vanilla. This is a very practical bottle. Mm, that's some good. I'll try the chocolate. It's melting already. I really like chocolate. You can have the chocolate. No, you licked it. I licked this side. Oh yeah. It's good, but I don't know. I wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> they tried to make us buy tons of beers and stuff. Mm. That was an annoying shop. Yeah. Bollocks. Just, just yeah. like biting yeah. the ripoff. No, it's like, a, like a twisty without the cheese flavour. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. so good. If it's hot, I suggest you come here. It's so... Oh, I need a Polaroid. This place is awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. So yeah, three-legged things are real. I'm 
gonna try this great yogurt. I've never had flavored yogurt before. Um, I honestly don't think it'll be good. Yeah. It's actually good. It doesn't taste like yogurt though. So it kind of ruins the flavor. But it's a good grapefruit.